question to ask yourself is, am I having symptoms of reflux frequently and have those persisted for a long period of time? So if you or someone you know has frequent heartburn or regurgitation sensation or even chronic cough over a long period of time, or you're continually using over-the-counter medications to treat your acid reflux, then one should consider talking to a primary care physician or an internist. For patients who may not have a primary care physician or an internist, uh, one can go to a center that specializes in esophageal disorders or reflux disease or consider speaking to a gastroenterologist as well. Your doctor may prescribe a course of medication, an acid blocking medication, uh, to treat those symptoms. For patients who respond to those medications, Typically, that may be all that is required, but if the symptoms persist or if you fail to respond to medications, your doctor may recommend evaluation by a gastroenterologist and possibly an upper endoscopy to look at the um, esophagus for Barrett's esophagus or even damage to the esophagus, what is called esophagitis. If you do have Barrett's esophagus, uh, be reassured that most patients with Barrett's esophagus never go on to develop esophageal cancer. The risk of developing esophageal cancer in Barrett's esophagus is roughly about 0.5 to 1 percent per year. And if you do have Barrett's esophagus, you can be surveyed by upper endoscopy on typically an every three-year basis. If you do have Barrett's with dysplasia, what is known as precancer, or if you do have the esophageal cancer, then you should definitely consider seeking evaluation in a referral center that specializes in Barrett's esophagus and esophageal cancer. Um, these are the centers that are most likely to have the surgeons with the greatest volume, expertise, and the best surgical options. And these are the centers that are also most likely to offer a full armamentarium of endoscopic technologies and therapies such as confocal microendoscopy, radiofrequency ablation, and endoscopic mucosal resection.